Hello, I'm Mr. Sinulit, aka Wenshui Shenshen. Welcome to Sinulit. You want to know something about Chinese literature, Tang poetry? This man, the great Li Bai, is considered by some as the greatest of them all. Li Bai is stereotypically seen as the romantic, the natural born talent. And what of Li Bai's life? If you want to know something about Chinese literature, can't go wrong starting about knowing of its greatest poet of all time. This biography of Li Bai by Ha Jin left me enthralled wanting to know more. I read this many many years ago before I even started making this channel. Ha Jin does a thorough job of bringing Li Bai to life, making the man in that photo there in his white robes and his Taoist black cap come to life. Ha Jin's biography of Li Bai is so thorough it goes right back to Li Bai's ancestors starting from the speculation about where they came from. Some say to the far northwest out way beyond the Great Wall in the area modern in, in modern days known as Uzbekistan. It's tracing his footsteps from his birthplace some people say was Jiangyou near modern day Chengdu in Sichuan tracing his footsteps all the way from there and his travels all around China Ha Jin takes us through how Li Bai came to be seen as the stereotypical romantic poet and this image that's often seen throughout China if you go to China you pass through one of those art districts where, where people sell paintings you often see this image or an image very similar of a bearded Li Bai with a black cap white robes looking up at the moon that is because Li Bai wrote many poems about the moon I really struggle to find looking back at my review of this book I struggle to find words at how brilliant uh, Ha Jin's biography of Li Bai is because it not only brings to life the man and what he was like through various anecdotes like the time he was only in his early 20s in Chengdu and his in his overconfidence he would go on the street and prescribe medicine to people and the time he calls himself in a poem at a very young age the legendary rock bird in Chinese mythology that's so huge its wingspan crosses the oceans the rock he calls himself he refers to himself as he says he must stretch his wings and leave and fly like the rock Haji not only does this but also does a thorough job of analyzing why it is that Li Bai's poetry is great he gives a the background of how Chinese poetry evolved through the Fu, the Han Fu verse style poetry, all the way to the Tang, what is called the Tang Shi, Tang style poetry, which Li Bai mostly writes in. On top of this, Ha Jing does an excellent job of recalling the context in which Li Bai lived, the turbulent days of the An Lushan rebellion. This is the irony of Li Bai and Du Fu's life. We know them as the people who lived through China's greatest period of poetry, a zenith, and a cultural zenith in the Tang Dynasty. At the same time, they lived through the worst period in the Tang Dynasty, right, I believe, in the middle of it, off the top of my memory, during the An Lushan Rebellion period, which saw the deaths of millions of people and the emperor leaving, fleeing, Chang'an in desperation that's the, the capital city modern-day Xi'an at the time so this was a period although we know it as a prosperous period it was actually a time of great struggle for Levi and he had to on many occasions dash back home to rescue or tr attempt to rescue his family if you want to know more about Levi the greatest cons considered by many to be the greatest poet in Chinese history I th I thoroughly recommend this book
by Hajin, the banished immortal, a life of Levi. I read it many, many years ago and it still sticks in my memory as I look back through my notes about it. It makes me want to read it again now. I think I will because I'm going to be making soon a video, a more thorough video, focusing on this poet, Levi himself. I've been Mr. Sinodit, recommending that book there to you and anyone interested in Chinese culture. I've been Mr. Sinodit, thank you very much for listening. Zai Jian.